Metalwick here. Just wanted to drop a quick tutorial on how to get those floating damage numbers uh, when you hit something. I've seen a few Let's Plays where they have that and it, I think it's really useful information. So I went and looked it up on YouTube and the only video that I found was a foreign language video so I thought I'd drop one. Really simple to do. Uh, it's just a little tricky locating the file that you need to edit. I want to go ahead and park my guy in a safe spot and log out here. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is open up your File Explorer. Just right click on your Start button, click on File Explorer. And it's going to be, for most people, on your C drive, Program Files x86. Go to your Steam folder, and then your Steam Apps folder. But in my case, I have it on my D drive. I'm going to back up. Go to my D drive. And it's not in my, my program files. I, it's because I've moved things around. I've installed games on different drives. It's going to be in my Steam library and then my Steam apps folder. And then once you're in the Steam apps folder, go to common. Find the game, PixArc, and then click on the shooter game folder. And then it's going to be in the config folder. And the file you're looking for is default game user settings.ini. If you can't see the extension, that's okay. Uh, if you want to see it, you go to view and then put a check mark here in the file name extensions. And then to open it, depending on your default settings, uh, you could just double click it and it opens up in Notepad. But if you've changed your default program settings, you're going to want to go to Open With, Notepad, WordPad, Word, whatever. All right, it opened up on my other monitor. So here we go. What you need to do is go under Server Settings. You can put it anywhere under server settings, but before this next tag down here. I'm just going to type, type it in the first line here. And you're going to need to type show floating damage text equals true. I don't think it's case sensitive. I just capitalized every word because that's what they do down below. Um, see how they have a capital T here and small t here. But anyway, uh, oh, and on a side note, down here you can change the amount of pets you have out at one time. The default is 35. You can increase it there. And there's other settings here. You could change it to PVP by turning this to false. Maybe. I haven't tried that. Anyway, you can look through this and mess around with it, uh, but you're going to want to save this file before you edit it. I already saved it. Uh, in case you mess up, you can restore it. But I've already saved it, so I'm just going to hit File, Save, and we'll log back into the game and see how it went. Alright, so let's go test this out. Hey, there we go. 111 versus 23. I think I got this. But it's very useful information because every time you add damage to your pet or you get a new gun, you can see how much damage you're doing. So there you go. I hope this helped you out. If it did, leave a like and catch you in my Let's Play. Bye-bye.